שלום תלמידים ותלמידות. I want to talk about להיפגש and לפגוש, two verbs that cause Hebrew learners a lot of difficulty, understanding when to use them and how to use them. One of the main reasons why they are so difficult to understand, particularly for English speakers, is because in English they both kind of mean the same thing, to meet. But that's not a good way to think about them. In fact, oftentimes translating into our mother tongue is actually more of a hindrance than a help, and this is definitely one of those situations. So, instead of thinking them about as to meet, how can we think about them that will help us use them? Best way to think about them is really to think about them in contexts. So, here is an example of some context with the words. You could say, Ani pogeshet et David machar. Okay, which is the lifgosh version. Likewise, you could say, Ani nifgeshet im David machar. That would be the lehipagesh version. So both are useful, can use, be used in that sentence, but, and this is a key but, the preposition which each one takes is different. Lifgosh is a pa'al verb from binyan pa'al, and that takes et. You have to use et after lifgosh. Conversely, lehipagesh, you have to use im. It's a nif'al verb, so it's got like a passive flavor, so you have to use im. You will almost never use et after a nif'al verb. And likewise, most pa'al verbs, you'll use et. So that's kind of rule number one, is use the correct preposition. Ani pogesh et David, ani nifgash im David. There are two options there. What might be... Helpful to add is that lehipagesh, if you were to translate it into English, even though I've said it's not the best idea, but what can be helpful is to think of it in English as to get together with or to hang out with. Because that will lead you into the direction of using the preposition with. So you could say, we hung out, nifgashnu, we hung out, nifgashnu. Or we hung out with friends, or I hung out with friends. Nifgashti im chaverim. So that might be useful to think of it like that. And finally, there are certain contexts which only one of them is useful, or is, is almost allowed to be used. And those contexts usually are for lehipagesh. So if you just wanted to say we hung out, there's no subject after we hung out with or we hung out, yeah, there's no subject, so we hung out with David. No, it's just we hung out. You have to use the nif'al version, lehipagesh. So you have to say nifgashnu. Or we're hanging out tomorrow. So it's not hanging out with, or we're not meeting up with. It's just we're hanging out tomorrow. Anachnu nifgashim machar. Okay, so in those contexts where there's no subject after, you have to use the Nifal version, the Lehipagesh version. I've got a link, I'll put it in the description here. It's also linked to the blog article, um, which you might be on right now, for the conjugations of both verbs, as long, along with me pronouncing them, so you can actually hear all the different conjugations. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. Lehitraot, Nipagesh.